Well, good morning, boys and girls. It's time for another sermon for our children. And today's is called A Time for Everything. Again, we're so happy that you decided to take a few minutes out of your day to hear God's Word. And kids, go and get your Bibles. And today we're going to be in the book of Ecclesiastes. Okay, I know that's a hard one to say. It's in the Old Testament. So right up here, Old Testament, Ecclesiastes. Okay, it's right after Psalms and then Proverbs. And then we have Ecclesiastes, okay? We'll be in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and we're going to read verses 1 through 8. So, if you need to, go ahead and pause the video right now, but open your Bibles to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8, and hit play when you're ready and when you found it in your Bible. It says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask, Lord, that you'll be with me as I bring this message to all of our children, their parents and grandparents that might be listening along, Father God. And I ask you, Lord, that we'll all be able to learn something from this, Father God, and to grow closer to you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is called a season for everything or a time for everything. Okay? There, you know a lot of these examples. It's not always hot. And sometimes it's cold outside. It's not always daytime. It can also be nighttime. Okay? You're not always awake. You're sometimes asleep. Some of you are maybe asleep a little too much. Okay? Let's be honest. I'm one of those people. Okay? And the reason I chose this message here today is because I wanted to talk to you guys about something very important. I know most of you guys are having school at home, school online, and that's got to be pretty hard and pretty challenging for a lot of you. You're used to going to school and you miss school, okay? I understand. Going to school, you see your friends, you get to do more things, but right now we're stuck at home. And stuck at home, having these classes, some of you might be getting bored. You might want to play games, watch TV. There's other things you'd rather do while you're at home. And I understand that completely. I have to work from home sometimes also. But we need to remember what God's Word says. There's a time for everything. There's a time to study and there's a time to play. There's a time to do your homework and there's a time to play video games. There's a time to read a book, and there's a time to go run around and be a kid. Now, don't get me wrong. I want you guys to have fun. I want you guys to go and run around outside and play. I want you guys to watch, you know, watch TV, watch cartoons, watch, you know, play your video games. There's time to have fun and be a kid. We're not trying to make you guys grow up fast or you know, enjoy the time that you have right now as children because it's precious time. But there's a time where we got to close those video games. There's a time we got to come indoors. There's a time we got to wake up. There's a time we have to stop doing the things we want to do and start doing things that we need to do. And something you need to do is go to school to learn. It's not, maybe now, you don't understand why, but you will soon. You will one day. It was at school where you learned how to talk. 
It's at school where you learn how to make friends. It's at school where you've learned a lot of things that are very important to what you're going to need to become a great person one day. Even Jesus, when he was young, they found him with some preachers. They found him with those that would teach. You guys also should try and spend as much time as you can learning as much as you can. So that means sometimes you got to put down the controller and log into class and pay attention while you're in class. You know, your teachers, they really do care about you. They're trying to help you. They're trying to motivate you. They're trying to teach you something. And a lot of them are putting in a lot of work, a lot of extra work to try and make online learning fun and make it something that you will enjoy. Because we know we have to compete with video games and TV and your phones, distractions, video games. I mean, there's a lot of things right now that can be a distraction from you. But remember, it says there's a time for everything. A time for everything. You need to make the time. There's a time like right now to watch a video about church. There's a time to pray. There's a time to read your Bible. A time to come to church. All these things we have to make the time. And this is just as important as it is for adults as it is for children. There's lots of adults that don't make the time to do the things that they have to do because they're doing things that they would rather want to do. And what's more important? Things you need to do or things you want to do? Okay, kids, be honest. What's more important? The things that you have to do. What are some other things that we have to do? We have to go to school. You know, we have to eat. You guys take time to eat. You take time to breathe. You take time to drink water. You take time to do lots of other things that you have to do. But right now, what we need to worry about is things that we have to do that maybe you don't think are have-tos. You know, it's very confusing out in the world today. There's lots of things going on. And the best way that you can be prepared for a lot of it is to learn as much as you can. Learn from your teachers. Study. Ask questions. You know, I'm seeing a lot of kids on these online classes, they're not asking questions. They think it's playtime. They think it's not helpful. They think that it's not really school. But you have to try your best. You have to try your hardest on, this, on these online schools, guys. We hope it won't last forever. You know, just like I hope that I don't have to do many more of these online sermons. You guys will be back with us and we'll have online, you know, we'll just be recordings. You'll be here. I won't have to preach to a camera. I'll be able to preach to you kids. And I know you guys are like to talk and you guys make it very more interesting than just speaking here to an empty room. You know, there's sometimes people walk by and wave by, it's not the same. We miss you kids. You know, when, when I, I can admit there's times I don't read my Bible as often as I should either, but when I do make the time, I don't regret it. I learn something every time I read the Bible. Every time I decide to sit down and pray, not just at night before I go to bed or before I eat something. I mean, turning off the TV, turning off the video games, turning off the cell phone, and just spending time with God and reading the Bible and praying. That's what I'm asking you kids to do also. There's a time for this. You have to make the time for this. Turn off all the distractions. And just read a little bit of your Bible. Or go back and reread what we read today. A lot of you kids have been able to tell me your favorite Bible verse. Go back and reread it. Learn something. Let's have a memory verse again. Okay? Try to learn a memory verse every day if you can. And set, spend some time alone to pray. To pray. To ask God 
to bless you, to come into your heart and to forgive you of all your sins. God loves you. And God loved, you know, Jesus loved children. He loved being around them. In fact, he told adults, sometimes we need to be more like children, have faith like children. But it's very important, you kids, just to remember there's a time for everything. Have fun. Have fun when it's time to have fun. But when it's time to work, we need to work just as much. Okay? I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I hope you've uh, learned something from this. But more importantly, I hope you'll act on this. I hope you'll make the time for school. You'll make it more serious. You'll make time for God. You'll make time to pray and read your Bible. You know what? Make time to spend with your family also. You know your mom and dad love you a lot. Okay? So don't spend all your time in your room or playing games. Spend time with them. They love you. And they want to be with you also. Well, we want you guys to be with us soon. And hopefully, the, you know, in a few weeks, the van ministry is going to start. Sunday school, children's church, we're going to be starting everything again. And we hope that you'll be able to come and join us. Well, we miss you guys very much. And we'll see you soon. Bye.